I don't know when I'm going to have the capacity to really do the uh, topic of mimetic health justice. So I decided to give a brief video giving the core idea of benefit that I think that I can share with people. And that is the idea of doing a mimetic audit. Now, the basic idea is to think about what ideas you are spreading, what ideas are taking up your headspace, and what ideas other people are trying to spread to you. And look at it in a clinical way. And I'll break this down into steps. So the first step is to take a step back. Stop being involved with the content and the claims and the emotions elicited by whatever meme or memeplex you're auditing. And if you're not familiar with memetics, you can just roughly say that a meme is an idea that spreads from person to person and a memeplex is an ideology, however big or small. So having stepped back out of the context and taking that view of a clinical observer, you look at the following things. What is the cost of this memeplex or meme to me? If it's a single meme, it's probably unlikely to have a significant effect unless it's combined with others. So I'm going to say memeplex from now on. How much energy does it take you to propagate this? Like all life works basically on an energy budget and a parasite uses the energy of other organisms to its own benefit. Is there a suspicious amount of cost? Are you spending a lot of your life, a lot of your energy on trying to spread this memeplex? Is it causing conflict in your life? Is it exposing you to unnecessary risks? Is it damaging your relationships? And just think about these costs without getting caught up in rationalizations or justifications for why it's necessary at this point. Okay, another aspect very similar is exploiting weaknesses. Is there just a normal human frailty or vulnerability or weakness that this set of ideas is playing into, especially fear? Is thinking this idea making you afraid and feeling like you have to act to avoid something bad happening? Um, is it eliciting tribalism? Is it placing you in a position of being against another group of people or part of a group of people and what these groups share is either this idea or another idea? Is it playing into your instinctual tribalistic nature? And then of course, you gotta be even handed, like we can't live without memes. Memes can be mutualistic, so look at the benefit. But make sure you look at manifest, observable benefits in your own life. Not theoretical benefits claimed by the content of the memeplex. Oh, the memeplex says that if I do this, the world would be a better place. You need to stay clinical and say what 
actual benefits has it actually really delivered to me or to other people? Is there some kind of compulsion? And what I mean by that is simply, do you feel like you have to share this idea? When someone brings up the topic, does this idea just rush forth from you without you really choosing? And if you feel maybe it might be inappropriate for the situation, do you get a sort of indigestion trying to avoid saying it? Do you feel compelled to share this idea as if, the most important thing must be that you get this idea across. And then ask yourself the question, are you better off as a human organism or spiritual emergence from that human organism in practice, manifestly, as a result of having this meanplex? And would others necessarily benefit in the same way if you were to spread it to them? Or is this something that may benefit you, but maybe they might have other meanplexes that benefit them? So if the answer to either of these questions is no, you may have a mimetic infection that's not really mutualistic, that's parasitic, it's spreading itself at your expense. So think about this, reflect on it, understand it in that context and bring that into your perspective on the topic that the Memplex talks about in its content. And keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're trying to spread the idea to other people. And make the judgment call, should I spread this? Or is this just to the meanplexes benefit at our expense as human beings with the capacity for something special that emerges from it? I believe that if we become practiced in remembering the mimetic nature of our ideas, especially ideas that we share with other people. We can be parasitized less. We can choose mutualistic memes with actual good outcomes and spend less time caught up spending our lives and our existences as puppets for ideas.